So we heard that friend of the show, Dave Rubin. My brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. Has uh, (laughs) made an endorsement. He will be voting for Donald Trump in November. Now, I know you're going to be shocked by this. You've been following Dave Rubin. I've been following Dave Rubin. What happened to him? He was such a progressive before. (laughs) He he was a classical liberal and um, he's voting for Donald Trump. So any thoughts on this? Uh, I, for one, am, uh, I don't know, floored. I, I did not expect this, you know? I mean, after Dave Rubin has put so much effort into cultivating this, you know, deeply refined uh, left-wing progressive technique, uh, I guess it made sense after a while. I mean, so many copies of his book got burnt, and uh, there's only so many book burnings you can attend before you're like, there's something wrong with the radical left. They've gone too far, and uh, yeah, uh, I think that's... I mean, you know, facetiousness aside... Uh, uh, everyone's done with the grift, right? Like we yeah. we understand what's happening now. Like he's he's decidedly making his money because that's where it's it's paying him the best. Um, yeah. I I do find it kind of strange with Dave Rubin though that he's got an enormous amount of hypocrisy right now. I mean, yeah, n- not like more than usual, but he seems to be on the the side of like. Um, it's the left that's always doing the the id poll, and it's the left that has to always talk about identity politics. I have yet to see him in the last like maybe five or six interviews where he doesn't talk about being gay. Like right. it's always like you know, and me a gay man, you know, and I, they 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 don't they don't bake me a, a cake, and I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine that you know Ben Shapiro won't bake me a cake. I'm okay with that. But I just I, I think it's it's kind of strange. Yeah, that honestly bugs me so much because if you hate identity politics so much, then stop talking about identity politics. Like you can actually use your show to shift to a different conversation. But he, yep. every second, he is reminding people that he's gay. And it's, I mean, we know what he's trying to do. He's trying to give himself, like, credibility. As I, I think he, during his Marianne Williamson interview, he tried to use that as, like, evidence that he's a liberal. I mean, it's just, it's <laughs> laughable. He's a clown. And I will say that for the people who are thinking, well, this, you know, grift has reached its logical conclusion. He's not going to go further. I'm calling it now. In, like, a year or two, the grift will go even, even further, depending on, like, where the conservative movement goes. And he may go full evangelical to where he like announces that he's no longer homosexual and we meet his new girlfriend <laughs> Alice like this is where it's heading <laughs> she, she's helped me so much she cured me um he he's actually uh what was I gonna say he's actually already evangelical you're you're halfway right right like uh, he's already okay. renounced his atheism that's he's not true. doing that anymore yeah so yeah that's it, true it's, it, it was a matter of time yeah yeah and- okay I Maybe need to I need to stay caught up on yeah yeah 2024 for sure. I need to stay mm-hmm. caught up on my Dave Rubin news. I get most of my Dave Rubin news from like people on Twitter random, randomly shitting on him but also from Michael Brooks and mm-hmm. your show as well because I think you guys you really keep me in the loop um and you provide me with content where if he says something like just stupider than usual then it's like okay I got to jump in. I mean it's easy because it's like this is the low hanging fruit but it it, it's shocking that so many people fall for the grift. Tremendous, 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 tremendous